back. <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome back to chaos. You are led into the Towers of Hospitality. It's actually the biggest area, biggest castle area. And um, let's see. Describe it as you go oh, into Thanos. this. Hmm? Oh, Thanos. Thanos. O T H A N A S. O L T H. O L. Old Thanos. Thanos. Right? Yeah. Thanos. Just make sure my notes are right. Passage if we, Tower. If okay. we get close to dying, I'm chucking the book off the side of the castle. The first room. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Giant it's a good size, idea. <laughs> kill some cloaks and boots line the walls of this tower between its interior and exterior doors. Stairs along the wall spiral upward to the second floor. One of the large wooden doors leads into the castle, while the other leads to a walkway extending toward the other island. You head past this area, of course, into Are you the hall. This directly out? Okay. I wasn't sure if you were, like, were summarizing or if it was not. Yeah. The hall, you notice there are eight doors that stand along all sides of this long, quiet hall. Specifically, for those of you looking, uh, this is the hall right here. I like how it's written on the graph. Mm -hmm. Like how it's like janky written. These squares are ten feet, so it's a big, it's a big old place. So that's <laughs> double the size of what we usually use as our scale. Okay. Go ahead and say this. I removed my hood. I guess it would technically be castle. four times the size of your scale. You're right. I, I, I Math's it. fun, everyone. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and put it out. I, I remove my hood when we enter the castle. I put on my robe and wizard hat. You can smell and he never at saw this point. <laughs> at this point in the uh, in the hall, you can smell roasting meat, uh, some kind of brothy substance. Um, you also smell. What seems a little bit like brimstone. <coughs> My favorite. Because mm. I'm teeth. All we need is hell fire with it. Through the I largest set of doors. It's the brim just slipped. How was that necessary? That was kitty cat. Great what the in. cat was that? Just broke. Oh, the I won't ever go back again. magnetic thingy, my drink. Oh no! <laughs> There's more pieces to it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're fun. all underneath this chair. Yeah, they're everywhere. The set of double doors is already open. Or actually, no, it's closed, but they they push them open. It's gonna be a hell of a book when I'm finish writing it. And you come to a like dining a hall. hall. Huh? As noted in area, uh, we're not worried about that. An enormous table carved from a single block of pine wood over 100 feet long dominates this elegant dining room. Portraits of cloud giants line the walls between heavy drapes that cover but thin portions of the windows. Cover all but thin portions of the windows. So tiny amount of light. Yeah. Uh, this, of course, creates narrow beams of bright light. A fire burns brightly in a fireplace set between two doors at one end of the hall. <coughs> Weapons and shields of human size are displayed above the room's great mantle. And sitting at the table is a younger cloud giant. Looks to be, as far as, like, appearances go, he looks to be about in his early 20s. Whether or not that's actually his age, you don't know, of course, but as far as his, like, overall physicality. <clears throat> and you see him eating. On his plate is a, uh, like a chunk of cow. <laughs> like the back leg of a cow. And he's eating it like a chicken bone. <laughs> Just like a big drumstick, except yeah. cow stick. Yeah. He doesn't even look up, and it kind of waves, waves them in. Um, 
they like all all of the giants kind of as as you enter the front doors uh, they all kind of fan out around this this dining area some of them actually sit down at the table uh, are there any differences in the ones that I could tell between the ones that sit down and the ones that just stand there are two uh, not really okay uh, two two of them kind of are following behind you and if I mean unless you resist this pick you up and put you on the table because like the so table it, ledge is about cat to us or probably less than that. yeah like like you can kind of you could Herc would have been able to like reach up and touch the bottom of the table. Okay, and none of us even have a chance of dunking. I got it. Mm-hmm. So Dude, you don't know my white guy jumping. It's a good. It, six foot. It, it's a good tall. Okay. Tall table. So and, and you're you're lifted up and set on top of the table. Unless you want to resist. I do not. No. This is new. Bark is just taking it all in. He is like is he still on the ground? No, no. Okay, no. No, they pick him up too. Yeah, Bark is immediately like going over to some of the meat, like just kind of sniffing at it. Not quite biting it, but he's really <laughs> wants to. <laughs> we got the puppy dog vibes looking up at the yeah. giants. Touch your fish. Touch your fish. Touch your fish now. He, uh, the giant that's eating and he kind of like motions and you can see from where you walk in off to the left hand side there are these two two doors and from that you can see smoke um, smoke kind of trailing in a little bit uh, and you can see sizable fires where they're roasting various critters Similarly, or well not similarly as far as that goes, but you see also in this area. You said the young child was sitting at the very head of the table? Yes. By the fireplace, which is on the other side of the kitchen, there are two hellhounds. No. Oh. Cool. Just hanging out. Cool. And let's see. Um, give me perception checks. It's going great today. It's going up. Wow. 18. 18. 16. 17 for him, too. You see in the, uh, in the far corner. I'll point it out. Right here. Kitchen. Hellhounds over here. The table takes up a lot of this sort of centralized area. And over in this corner, and it, it's, it, it blends in really well. But curled up. And uh, trailing little mists of cold air is a young white dragon. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, young white dragon. <laughs> a young, a young Graydon. He continues eating. He, um, kind of messes with the teeth a little bit. This is the giant that's eating. And, uh, Looking down at, because Bark Bark has moved up close to where he's eating, because he he's, it's meat. He's yeah, a, he's just like he has no no control um, over that. How was it, Dave? The the giant looks looks <laughs> looks amused and kind of like takes a bit of gristle <coughs> and uh, sets it down in front of Bark. 
Who just like goes. Yeah, he just jumps at it. He's like, (laughs) Are you hungry? Ran left. Oh, he stole my fucking line. Oh, what happened? He asked if we were hungry. And Rand was gonna say, I. I could eat after he saw how <laughs> that he treated Bark nice, so he's just gonna be like, I could eat. He uh, snaps his fingers and they bring out this Use the forks. platter. It's a great big platter they set next to you. It's a cow. Like a whole well, it's not all the cow, because one of its <laughs> legs is gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That he's kind of eating on. It's set down. He reaches over and like rips rips one of the other legs off like it's nothing. And then he says, eat. <laughs> we will partake. <laughs> How do you, do you just like grab it and like try to pull the meat? I mean, I have like, nice. Rand uses he's, one of it, just like flips a dagger out of his yeah. ri- out of his sleeve and slices off a bit and it's like, hmm. It is. Thank you, sir. Delicious. <sighs> like super tender, melt in your mouth kind of roasted meat. So good. You eat, you have a good time. Uh, he doesn't really say anything. So it's just we're just eating. You're for just a eating. While. A little bit How of drink is offered to us? Or is there drink offered? I would assume. The drinks drink. that are offered are. Uh, there is this uh, very strong mead that is supplied. Um, but they don't really have like. Human-sized crafts or, or anything, yeah. or anything. So I like, so. they set this like it. It it's about the size Swimming of pool size. a. Uh, <laughs> it's a saucer, isn't it? It's one of their saucers. Sort of. It's 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 about it. It's like a fifty-five gallon bucket <laughs> mug. It, it's a mug. Yeah. And it's just it's like. It would be very difficult to lift and drink, but you can, I mean, if you have any sort of like like little cups and stuff that you would use normally. Um, Well, for once, Rand does not touch the alcohol. Doesn't touch it at all. You can have some. And it's it's good. I believe it. I just use the drink for my water thing. Ouch. Whatever. I was just curious if they offered this. They did. Rand is also just keeping an eye. He doesn't say anything or move at all, but... He's keeping an eye on that dragon over there. Just the, you the fucking thing covered in scales over there. Small one. You frown upon our hospitality. Why do you not drink? Well, oh, magnificent one. I, one of such small <laughs> stature, could not drink the same things as one so large. But I insist. (laughs) Well, I suppose if you insist. And then I guess he takes a cup. (laughs) He ran caves very easily. It's not poisoned or anything. No, No, I know. It was. But uh, I just... not intelligent and the kind of magic. Rand isn't... Rand's barely comfortable with tall people in general. He's just used to them. These people are much larger... (laughs) But he does we indeed would, take a would. cup would and drink. Poison you. Poison is a weak way out. No, oh, I never assume that, sir. It's just, oh, it's very is, rare I see I such. Horrible. We have other ways, if needed, to do that. Oh, sort of this story oh really I'm. Just got a lot better. Uh, no, I'm, sh- I'm sure you do, sir. I'm sure you do. And after. They've all eaten because they, um, they do, because you are guests. They do allow you to, kind of cut off your your chunks of meat first, and then they kind of go at it. They bring out like another cow, <laughs> because you know there's like nine giants in here. Uh, that's a lot. They can put put away a lot of food. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of eating. They're having a good time. Do does, does anyone speak giant? I- I speak halfling. Halfling. <laughs> yeah, that's my god is orc. I'd I love if there was like some kind of linguistic. Even Soren doesn't speak giant. That's how nobody speaks. 
That may have to change. I knew that I should have picked the speak languages as one of my. Giant and I don't speak Who? half know, giant. But if you did, you oh yeah, so that means that you would speak like two and a half. Like. They are speaking to each other. They're having a good time. They're like making jokes and stuff. None of which we get you understand in any way. Uh, Wait. <laughs> talking about the Copperhead language spell? I would imagine you have it as a bard. Unless you didn't choose it. Which is fine. No, you got, you got it done yet? Are you still working on him? How it is. Tweaking, tweaking him? Find more it's not information on him. One of them, once once the the eating and everything is commenced, it's actually one one of these squares is twenty feet. Dang, that's crazy. Anyway, one of these what? One of these squares is twenty feet. Uh, so it's a huge room. Holy crap! Yeah, that's yeah. big. I could not draw this out. No, oh, yeah. For reasons. You notice on the mantle, uh, <coughs> human sized like armor and shields and weapons and stuff. Um, they got some, some some magical gear up there. Now that that's wildly relevant, just so you know. They finish eating, they clear the tables, and he kind of leans back in his chair. <sighs> and then one of the other giants kind of, like, the one that addressed you kind of comes up and, and, and whispers into his ear. So, let me make sure I understand this right. You, collective you, came here on Rogar's order. Okay. Well, I wrote it once. It was observant. I can see their mouth. I know what they're saying. You can read their lips if you understand the language. If you can see a creature's mouth while it's speaking, a language you understand, you can interpret that. You don't understand the language. Which. Uh, that was the whole point. Do that. I can't what it was. There's a spell. Linguist is a. Is. It was something else that I used when he was talking to the uh, golden dragon. I can't remember what it was now. Bardic lore? No, I don't know. Can't remember. Anyway. It's gone. Oh well. And are you going to take the front again or should Rand? Oh, I'm pretty much taking control of this right now. I'll just uh, Are you gonna respond? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, what happened? He asked uh what was the question again? I am actually gathering information, sorry. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> he said so I understand that you're here on the orders. orders of Prince Rogar. King Rogar. King Rogar. I would say it's more of a favor. Mm -hmm. I'd word it that way. Huh? I don't think I'd word it that I'm way. not going to. It's going to be a simple yes or no. Oh, a yes sir, no sir. I feel like we're keeping it respectful. And not a fearful yes sir, no sir. Understandable. Oh. Alright, where is the... As of right now, he's giving me no reason to fear him. Except for the... Yeah, I was about to say... That's about it. He's like and 80 feet tall. And then, at that, Ooh. it's just, you know... He's there. I just I just ate dinner with the person. Or lunch. Whatever time of day it is. What is... Super high level for this, technically. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. <clears throat> and I'm not super prepared, but that's okay. Don't even need a case, girl. It's fine. Super. Uh, page language is well. The list of languages. It's near the beginning. That's what I'm 
Okay. Got it. <clears throat> so, his question was, let me make sure I understand this. You were sent on an information gathering... Quest to determine what we are doing here. Does he speak that well? Yes, he does. In common? Mm hmm. Yes, we were, yes, sir, we were sent on a request by uh, King. Mm -hmm. Right? Rogar. Rogar. I, I want to say Rygar because of the video game. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's King Rogar. Uh, he was curious about the reasoning behind this structure of I heard he's going to figure out his kingdom across to or near his kingdom. Yes. He, was, he was like a hippie wedding, like he's in a tux, but it was tie dye. I mean, life. who wears a suit in, with a tie dye shirt under it? Rainer, if you're watching, tell me. On Rainer Facebook would wear the hit. If that is the ugliest shirt you've ever seen, I think you to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch this Please, video. Please, Rainer. Please tell me. Put it in the adventures, Bill. They'll be fine. I'll see it. Cause yeah. there it is. Anyway. Anyway, so we said yes, we're on a we're sent mission. On a, on a mission to basically figure out why this, he wanted to know why this was around his kingdom. I see. And what have you learned so far? That you are the most hospitable people we have ever come across. That's actually a good answer. Okay, drink in my cup. Well. It's we'll actually try. true, no one's given us a whole cow before. <laughs> Nobody's ever just like... There was that one town that gave us part of their income. Well, you part of their income. <laughs> And that guy. Soren had to bully them way. into it a little bit, but huh? we were Soren also bullied told them into it a little bit. Did we get before we were brought into this room here that you were that you were here for glorious combat. Uh, not terrifying. Yes. With whom? Yeah, we asked for with whom. I personally would like to avoid combat, if at all possible. But there are some within the Cloud Giant retinue That's coming, right that disagree. You're hoping you can squeeze it back, right? That oh, are yeah, trying you did. that that are trying to return the 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 giants, all giants, to our former glory, our former place within the realm. I personally don't think that's possible, and if possible. Because those that wish to do this, that pursue this goal, intend on intense bloodshed to achieve the goal, both in terms of giant and non-giant lives. This I would like to avoid. My father, whose name is in here somewhere. Give me a moment. It's like being in a fucking classroom. It takes a goddamn minute. Count Stratovan. Spell it. S T R A T O V A N. I'm really glad you didn't spell count because I would have thrown this at you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can spell uh, count. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. One giant. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway. Okay, we're done. <clears throat> Can 
and Stradivan is he says he's his currently gathering a force. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'll get back to the conversation in just a moment. Cool. Except for you on Twitch, you know, watching this live. Twitchy, twitchy. Hey, that one guy. Yeah. Oh. Are we taking a break? Yeah, it's okay.